Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mac tutorials. Um, today we're actually going to get into artificial intelligence. Um, so Azure has machine learning and it is connected to NAV or can be connected to NAV in a, in a simple form. However, it's, it's not very intuitive how to connect it. Um, so it, it's a little bit puzzling. So let's just get going. If I go here into items, for example, and I'm here on the Athens mobile pedestal, I can go on the sidebar here or the fact boxes and I have something called forecast. And it comes up with not enough historical data. Actually, when you log into Cronus or you set up a new company, it always says this. This, I think, is misleading. I don't know where this is coming from. I don't think it's coming from anywhere. I just think it says not enough historical data always. Um, but in fact, it's not connected. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the step, setup here. So if I get into the setup of this, um, it's set up with some standard parameters and there is an API URI, uh, an API key right here, this. So here, nothing is set up, which means it's not connecting to an artificial intelligence or machine learning, but the forecast is supposed to be. So let's go ahead and connect it and see if we can get something going. Um, so if I click here on open Cortana intelligence um, model, I actually get into uh, a kind of a splash screen here, which is forecasting for dynamics. And uh, it tells you here an example API, an example endpoint URI. This, you cannot use this. This is just an example. Um, it won't work. You actually have to open up the Artificial Intelligence Studio. Uh, so if you get into that, if you actually set up an account here, it's very easy to set that up. I have one already. Um, it will open up this experiment uh, inside the artificial intelligence. So don't be too concerned with all of this. This is, of course, very heavy right here in technical stuff. And this is actually the experiment, or they call it experiments, but what it is is really a forecasting model um, that has been created for NAV uh, inside the Azure Machine Learning Studio, right? And so this hangs out in the cloud, uh, and when NAV needs to forecast something, it actually connects to this, gets the forecasting, brings it back into the NA into NAV, and you see it there on the fact box. This is kind of cool, and so this is this is the programming behind it. And you could actually change that. Now, if I just want to get this going in its basic form, what I need to do is actually first save this. So I'm going to save this experiment right here. So it's saved uh, in my um, workspace. Uh, and then I have to actually run it. So when I'm running it, the system goes through. Um, let me just make sure that this is running. Now it is. Uh, it actually goes through everything. And you can see it queues up the experiment. Um, and then it starts going into, you know, the sample data, executes the R script, splits the data, blah, 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 and then it completes. All right. So once it ran, you just run it, let it go through its motions, and that's it. You can actually say deploy web service. Uh, and what that does is from your workspace in Azure, it takes this model and it deploys it as a web service. And so here I finally get my API key. This is the API key I can use. So I just take that, copy it here, and uh, go back into NAV right here. And I'm going to paste that into the key. Now I also need a URI. All right, so where do I get that? If I click here into the request response page, and that's sort of a splash page that allows you to uh, read about how to connect this from remotely. Uh, the actual URI 
is going to be here. So you can copy that. And this is, of course, way too complicated uh, to do <laughs> for, than it should be. It should be much easier, right? I think everybody agrees with me on that. But the good part about this is you can basically create your own forecasting modules inside the artificial intelligence and use that. But anyways, so I set this up right now. And now I want to do uh, update forecast. Uh, and now it says sales forecasts are being updated in the background if it takes a few moments before they're available. Okay, great, that's fine. So I can just okay that out. Uh, go out here. And let me just go ahead and take a look at here at Paris guest here. Uh, and now I'm gonna just, I can actually update it straight here. And uh, now I can see I get a forecast for the Paris guest here. And uh, I'm just going to take a look at the entries real quick. You can see the forecast comes up here. So uh, just quickly on the entries, um, I had created some sales with month intervals. So there are like 10, 14, 12, 15, 18. So you guys can kind of guess the neighborhood I'm in here. So the idea was that I'd get somewhere around between 10 and 18, I guess, um, suggestions if this all worked out fine. So if I close that out, I take a look at this, uh, I get here uh, 1,200, okay? So don't be alarmed. <laughs> the algorithm actually works. This is the inventory balance. I already had 1,230 on, on hand. And so right now the inventory balance is going down. If I only want to see my sales forecast, I have to click here. And now I see it. So you can see that it's hanging around 15. Actually, it's just giving me straight 15 all the way through. So it's a pretty boring forecast, but at least it's uh, it's doing its job. And from here, I can actually create a purchase order to buy or purchase invoice to buy. Um, but now it is connected and it's giving me data on this. Um, if I go into the Athens pedestal and I update that one, I get not enough historical data. So I think you at least have to have maybe three or four periods uh, to get some data. And I had that on the powers guest here. Um, so what would be nice is actually be able to connect this to the real forecast in NAV, the inventory forecast. That would be great. Um, I'm going to take a look at that in a little bit and see how we can work that out. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. Um, until next video, if you got something out of this, at least you got the forecast going. So uh, thumbs up or subscribe. Thank you.